Hello everybody, this is Sumi1717, and welcome to kind of a continuation series of the previous series. This is How to Make a Game, Volume 1A. Um, I'm saying Volume 1A because Volume 1 will be a series of different games made with probably RPG Maker VX Ace, or at least the majority of them. And the 1A part is, well, this game. So for Volume 1A, we're going to be making Quest for the Dragon Sword, which I began the creation of in my Basics of RPG Maker VXA series, which ended not too long ago. Also, I apologize about the background noise, uh, like the weird humming thing. I don't know what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, so in this episode, we're going to do some work on the second dungeon, um, which is the House of Souls, if I remember right. Yeah, the House of Souls. So, we need to come into here. So I already got kind of the basics of like the floor done for like the opening room of this mansion area place. <laughs> So, we have the floor here, <laughs> obviously. Um, gonna go ahead, quick event creation, door. We're gonna use gate one for this door. And we're gonna go ahead and put it there. And there we go. So now we can get inside the dungeon. So, the basic theme of this is that it's kind of like a ghost house, it's probably going to be haunted or something like that. Um, the main idea though is that, um, like the main story is that there's been some sort of dark force awakening inside the fourth door which will be dungeon 5 over here. And basically, um, the Elder Council, or the Council of Elders, which um, are basically like the people who are like, that are almost like the kings of this land, but not quite. And basically, they send. Um, the player's character to go around to the different places, um, the different, well, for now it's dungeons, I haven't come up with a group name for them yet, but basically you get sent to each of the dungeons and you have to get the four keys to open the fourth door and take down whatever is trying to awaken the dark beast inside. So that's basically the story. Um, in the first dungeon, you get the slimy key from this boss enemy over here, um, which is red slime. And if we come into the enemies tab, come to the red slime, you'll see that it always. Wait, hang on a second. I messed up. On something. <laughs> Whoops. We need to give it drop items, item, slimy key with a one to one chance. Just make sure none of these guys have it for some reason. Okay. So, yeah, the slimy key will drop from the red slime. Which, if we come to the items tab and take a look at it, it says it's a key covered in yucky red slime. Um, then once you get all four keys, which are the slimy key, spectral key, ember key, and winged key, respectively, you'll be able to come to the fifth dungeon, open the door, and go about it. So if you look at the world map, we already have all the locations for the dungeons picked out. The first dungeon is in this town area over here, and the second dungeon is over here. And the third dungeon, which will be the Ember Key, is over here. This volcano over here. 
and then the wing key is up here slash right here so there's that and then the fifth dungeon is right here so it's pretty simple um, I didn't want it to be too complicated otherwise it would just it wouldn't be good if it was that complicated so there we go um, so yeah, let's begin making dungeon 2, I guess. I've already made the outside as much as I care to do it for now, as you can see. So let's continue making the dungeon. So what I'm thinking is you're gonna have you're gonna come in and immediately in front of you, like just immediately at the beginning of the dungeon, you'll be able to see um, like this door over here which is locked and once you are able to unlock the door then once you unlock it you'll go into this room with the staircase you'll go up to the second floor and you'll begin and that's where the boss fight will be. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, I'm thinking that you'll have to go about to get the key or thing. So, let's go ahead. Um, we're going to make a just normal, like, small key that you would find in, like, Legend of Zelda or something like that. And we're just gonna have it be like uh, I guess we'll do it like this one for now. Oh boy, more background noise. So a small key. A small key. Open a door in a dungeon. I can open a locked door. So, um, I guess we'll do something like this. Have in the notes say like dungeon two or something. And then we'll have there be the boss key. A large key used to open a large locked door. And we'll just have it be like the wing key, I guess. Have it yet again be dungeon 2. Actually, no. The boss key, I guess, won't really matter. Actually, yes, it will. So. Again, have just in the notes dungeon 2 so um, generally when I'm doing something like this I like to go ahead new map dungeon 2 f2 actually no stairs House of souls auto change BGM Two. I'll just do that for now and the tiles that do interior. So then you'll come into this room, which I'll make later. Probably later on in this episode. So then we're gonna go ahead, um, quick event creation, make another door. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna select a door. Maybe do another gate one for now. And then it'll be a conditional branch, item, I mean, no, not small key, boss key, and inventory. So basically, you're gonna wanna get, so you're gonna need the boss key. And for the else branch, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make it be like, the door 
is locked and needs a large key. Um, so yeah. And then if you do have it, it'll do set move route for this event. You could s is it? No, it's. Right, left, up. Right? And then it's transfer player to here. So, let me just go make sure that I got the thing right. Uh, left, right, up. Was it left? Whoops. Left right up. Alright. So, we got that done. And then I'll just transfer you to the Dungeon 2 stairs room. Which I guess we can go ahead and actually make. So, I want this room to be slightly bigger. Maybe like. 25 by 25, I guess, will be good. Um, it doesn't need to be this big, but whatever. Go ahead. Um, this. Yeah, okay. Jeez, my mouse is being annoying as frick. say that that looks good. Now, go ahead, flip the wall. Let's actually make this one lower. Man, I hate my mouse. <laughs> so, there's the room simple. Let's go ahead and add like a carpet or something, I guess. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll have there be a downward staircase over like right here. Actually, no, we'll do it like this. So you go um, like if you went down the stairs, you would just like come to um, a like a little basement area with probably a couple random items. Um, maybe if you find like another key or something, you'll be able to open up the door and go into another room in case you find like the extra key um, I don't really have a plan for that yet so then let's go ahead put a fence or something around this that look good looks good um, grab our vent um, flame Transition. Okay, so got that done, and then I'm thinking. Grab this probably. So we come out to like right there for now. Um, probably have it 
or upward. I'm gonna go ahead and let this path get a little bit thinner. over. Again, my mouse is being dumb. And, um, and we'll come over here. Um, I just realized that this is a lot like the layout for another thing I'm making, um, another project I'm doing. Not at the moment. Um, I'm taking a very long break with that, but whatever. It'll be all in beta a lot later. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, build up the for floor plan for this area, and when I'm done, I will get back to you. All right, so we're back. Um, did quite a bit of work. We got the general layout of this area done. Um, added some pillars for a nice effect, just to make it look nicer. I think it looks good. Um, there's still some stuff I want to do to make it look better. Um, probably add a couple tables, um, maybe like statues, some like sword stands like over here. Um, there's still some stuff I would like to do. So, over here will be the west wing. I mean, east wing, not west. And over here will be the west wing, as shown by this. Like, there's an east wing here and a west wing here. Um, this will just make it look nice and will allow us to have a lot more room. But I'm thinking in over here, um, let's go ahead... Grab this, and this, really quick, um, new map, dungeon 2, room 2, house of souls, Something like that. Um, yeah, that'll be good. So it's gonna be fairly small, it won't be too big. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get like a nice. room selected for it. Nice battle deck. Thinking something like one of these room type things. Um, forget how many of these there are. Maybe we'll do like. room two for this one. Um, it matches the wall style that we're looking for. Uh, auto change BGM to dungeon two. Yada yada. Alright. Then we're gonna go ahead and make this little master bedroom. This is where we're gonna fight the um, mini boss of sorts. So you'll like come in here 
I'll open up into a nice room. I guess doing cobblestone as the floor not actually a good idea. Hmm. No, that's not what we want. I don't want stone either. Ah, here it is. We want a wood one. So then we're gonna go ahead, kind of just flush out this room. Again, it's the master bedroom, so it can be pretty big. Um, room for the master of the house. Um, you'd think that this would be like the boss room, but um, for our purposes, it's going to be the mini boss room. Um, primarily because fighting a the boss on the second floor just adds to the effect of it. Um, I might even have it be like you fight the boss on the roof. Maybe. Depending on if I wanted to do that or not. Um, it sounds pretty cool to me. So then we're gonna go ahead. Um, just go ahead and like add a big carpet to the room. Make it look nice. Make it look like somebody actually sleeps in here. <laughs> you know? Um, go ahead. Make it like the bed. I always see beds being in like the corner of a room. I think that looks the best, having it in the corner of the room. And we're gonna go ahead and get some like wardrobe stuff. Um, we get a lot of bookshelves. I mean, it is like a mansion type house. So there can be bookshelves. Um, this isn't gonna be like the library or anything, but like, yeah, that looks like too many to me. Um, trying to see if there's anything else. And there's more background noise, yay. <laughs> so much background noise. Um, something to fill this in. You're like a big table. Big tables are always nice looking. Or almost always, I should say. Yeah, that, look, that looks good. And we're gonna go ahead get a nice chair for it. Actually, let me look at the tile set for this really quick. Interior. B. Can you walk behind that? No. No. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get like some more chairs around it. this be like a little bit of a conference room as well as a master room. Should no, we won't have chairs. We'll just have it be one big chair. And I think hmm. let's go ahead and look through some of these like graphic type stuff. Um maybe like in here. This is supposed to be like, um, go 
ghost house. Liberia. So maybe we could have it be like this old man right here. Maybe we won't have this be like. Actually, yeah, we won't have this be a mini boss for now. Like, yeah, we won't have this be the mini boss. Instead, what we'll do is we'll have it be like. You know, make it kind of kid friendly. Friendly. Blech. I don't want to come out and explicitly say he's dead. I easily could, but I don't want to. We're gonna say he's asleep. Just, you know, make it look nicer. So yeah, this is where you're gonna get the boss key. So then it's change items. That's where it is. Yeah. I'm gonna give him, no, not the small key, the boss key. And then... Um... <laughs> Just, I think it's the, you know, just to add to it. I just thought of something that's like brutal. So the way we're going to do that is it's going to be like So what, it'll, what we'll do is we'll control very no, not variables actually, control switches. There we go. No, not switches. No, that's not right either. Self switch A to on. There we go. So we'll come back to damage one. And he's gonna just like fall off the right of his chair. So then we're gonna have it be. Um that move route for this event. Move right. And then I'm gonna play. No, nope, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. I'm gonna play sound effect. Um should be something good in here. Probably. There are a lot of sound effects. Let's start up here.
like maybe there's something good in F. Fall. No. Definitely not. We need something that sounds like it thuds. Like a thud type sound. just have to do for now. Actually, yeah, that is just gonna have to do. Darn. That's annoying. So then we need to come down to... This is just gonna have to do for now. Switch B to on new event page. So switch B is on damage one. So yeah, that'll just add to, like, that'll just be like for comedic effect, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead, finish up, like, gonna go ahead, um, connect this room with the room down there, and then, yeah, uh, Creation door three. Dungeon room two. All right, so now that that's done, um, I think I'm gonna call the episode here. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. If you want to be notified when the next episode comes out, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It and um, if you like the video, a like is very much so appreciated. Helps me out a lot. Um, and um yeah so until next time so in the next episode we'll probably finish up making this dungeon um probably do some other stuff with it and um yeah that's gonna be it for now guys and until next time i will see you guys later